Welcome back to another edition of the Nori's Niche, where we're working on doing some real basic fundamental flatland tricks for the older rider, the younger rider, and everyone in between that wants to learn some real simple, fun, basic flatland tricks that will hopefully encourage you to dabble a bit more in the flatland world. I uh, really appreciate being involved for so many years because I've watched the sport just, just escalate in the degree of difficulty and the amazing tricks that are out there. I just, it's mind boggling to watch some of the current new school riders and what they're doing. And uh, I also feel like it's important to offer something for someone that's interested in getting into the sport, some fundamentals and some basics so that it may be not as intimidating. And uh, I was thinking about it a little more this morning. So today happens to be my birthday. So I turned 57 and I was thinking about, wow, when was it that I got my first BMX? And I was figuring it out and going back in the years, it was 1978. So that would have been 43 years ago. I got my first MC spy, MCS Spider, and it was black with red moto mags. I still lived in the Chicago at the time. It wasn't really a freestyler. I was just a kid on a bike, but I did want to learn to jump and to do wheelies. And uh, I don't know what else I did. I think I mainly just did jumps, wheelies, and like kickouts. And we just go around the neighborhood, and it was about four or five of us that had a little group that we would just ride all through Chicago and build little jumps, mostly with just boards and, and bricks, honestly. It wasn't a lot of dirt jumps back when I was riding then. So watching that sport, watching the sport for the last 43 plus years has been amazing. And I just feel like it's time to offer uh, some incentives for people that want to dabble in flatland and feel like it's kind of a little bit overwhelming. So. Hopefully this is working. I appreciate all the comments and feedback. I'm a little behind, but I will try to catch up. So if you haven't heard from me, it's just because I'm, I'm a little bit backed up. But today I thought a good trick to do is a half lash. We've done some steamrollers, some whip backs where we roll it around and we just let it sway. And we've done the foot jam tail whip. So we're kind of mixing all those skills together to doing the half lash which will then be helpful to doing the final um, trick in that kind of genre, which is a whiplash. So I will do it for you first, and then we'll kind of break it down, and I'll give you a few tips on what may help to, to learn this quicker. All right, so the half lash. Uh, let's see. I take my right foot, and I put it on my left front peg, and then I kick it around, and I smoothie it out like that. So the trick that you're wanting to do first is you want to really lean forward and it's that same kind of motion. I'm going to turn around so you can see what I'm talking about. That same kind of motion. I'm starting from my pedal where I'm kicking it with my foot kind of like that. And I'm also really leaning forward. Now, I don't do this very much. I'm not super consistent. So just so you know, you can you know, roll it around even longer and then smoothie it out. That one was pretty fast. But I think the key is it's going to be something new because we're going to do cross footed. So we're, instead of having your foot, you know, the right, the left foot on the left peg, we're putting the right foot. So we're cross footed. So that might feel a little awkward. So just even practicing that, just practice right around and do this. Like, what does it feel like to ride around? on this. Once you get kind of used to that, that just that general feeling, then start to just kick it like that. Just try to kick, kick the frame around and see how it goes. I'm gonna kick it around. Okay, it's a little better. Then I'm gonna kick it around a little harder. Maybe lean forward as much as you can. All right, that's better, that's better. 
then you're going to keep working on that. It's going to be like over and over and over. You're just going to try to kick it. Oh, went too far. So that time I leaned as far forward as I could. But what happened was, as you could see, I'm rolling, lean forward. And then the tight, since I was so far forward, the, the wheel hit the ground too soon. So we keep at it. We don't give up because we know it's close. And then we're going to lean forward and roll it. Maybe just get used to rolling around like so. And then the last step is smoothie out. It's kind of hard to break this one down. Okay, so the last step, if we're like this, and we land it, the last step is gonna be, I'm gonna get it so you can see, like this and like that. Let me do that again. Can you tell I don't do these that much? I'm not super consistent at that. Okay, here we go. So it's like that, smoothly out like that. Still wanna pull that cleaner. Okay, here we go. So like that, and like that. So that would be the third step. So the first step, again, is leaning forward, kicking it around, waiting, waiting, let it land. Second step is to roll it around a little bit like that and then the third step is to smoothie out like so let's see if i can do another smooth one here okay right foot over kick roll smoothly Ooh, pulled it but it was kind of quick okay so that is the half lash uh, hopefully that comes to you easy. Um, please continue to offer any suggestions or comments and, uh, follow me on my Facebook page, Nori's Bike Academy, because that's where I'll have other events and other things that I'm doing. The YouTube channel is primarily for the longer tutorials that I'm doing. I'm going to do shorter versions on my Facebook page. And, uh, thanks again for watching.